In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you why Dime 146 is the best defense in the game, the most versatile defense, especially as the meta continues to evolve and as we continue to shift to a more zone-based meta, which I personally love in Madden because it's a chess match. What zones are you putting out? Where are you putting them out? Um, it's a big chess match. So with that being said, we're going to be talking about Dime 146 today. If you want to get my full Dime 146 defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below. This defense is incredible. We're going to show you some really glitchy pressures in this formation that you're not going to find in dollar. Um, 146 is actually significantly better than dollar for pressure, in my opinion. And we're going to show you why in this video. Um, I think 146 is equipped to be the meta defense for a lot of reasons. And if you want to learn and get a step ahead of everybody else, make sure you're in the Patreon. The link is in the description below. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. I have a dollar ebook in there as well. I have a Dime236 Will ebook that we just dropped last week. Um, if you want to learn this stuff, everything's in the Patreon. You get everything. All ebooks, all updates, and we're dropping a brand new revamp um, to some of this dollar, dollar, uh, or dollar and dime uh, stuff this week. So if you want to check it out, links in the description below. Let's get on the field. I want to talk about 146 in this video and why 146 is so good. So. Um, I'm, the, the play that makes 146 tick is DB Sting 2 Buzz. That is the play you want to come out in every single time. If you notice here, we have some really interesting plays, and everything is pretty much set up for you. Your man play, your zone play, your man blitz. If you want to exchange cover two man for cover one robber, you can. Or if you wanted to exchange this for cover four or something else, you certainly could do that as well. Uh, so, again, we're coming out in DB Sting 2 Buzz every single play. Now, I want you to look at the alignment. You're going to see already this is a little different than dollar. The defense of the linebackers mug the gaps. That is a big deal. Um, it's going to significantly help you with run defense. The next thing is I'm going to pinch my defensive line. I want you to watch the outside linebackers. When I pinch them, they're going to spread. Uh, one of them at least is going to spread outside. Okay. Now, if I base the line, you see here it doesn't change much. Uh, from this fr uh, from this defense if I baseline and press it will bring that wide side guy outside um, You know, but the other thing that's really interesting is when you do all this stuff out of zone Nobody moves which is another really big piece. Okay. Um, I want to show you one other shift if I pinch my linebackers I want you to watch what happens. You're gonna see they're gonna flip-flop. They're gonna flip-flop. Okay, uh, what you could do Is you could do something like this and contain and I want you to just watch this blitz this is just just for fun just show you this pressure you see we're still gonna get pressure off the edge even with dropping a lot of people in coverage okay so there's all these shifts you can do in dollar or in 146 I apologize uh, that makes it really good okay so again you don't have to base a line to run this defense that's a big piece of it um, another reason is when I pinch my line and I show blitz I want you to watch what happens now my safety comes in the box, and really what we want to do in a perfect world is actually user this defender. The reason we want to user this defender is because it allows us more flexibility in terms of our pass coverage. Um, we could do defenses that look like this, for example, uh, to one side, and we're still going to scream off of the other side. Okay, You don't have to do that, but this is an option. Um, but anyways, the bottom line is if you crash your line down after you pinch them, and then you can zone these linebackers in whatever zones you want them to be in, you're going to notice that you're going to get incredible pressure off of both sides. The pressure is more consistent in dollar for two reasons, or in, uh, in 146 for two reasons. The first reason is the alignment of the linebackers makes it harder for the offensive line to identify who's blitzing and where they're blitzing from. That is really important. These mugged linebackers are really good. Now, like I said in the beginning, we can check into stuff, right? So we can audible into cover two man. And I haven't done a lot of teaching on this, but if you didn't know, if I man this linebacker up on the tight end, because he's at the line of scrimmage, he's going to play this tight end really good. So let's say I run a streak you're going to see that he's going to actually play him perfectly. He's not going to get burned over the top. Now, I want to contrast this with a different style of man-to-man, -man, and that will come out in a more traditional dollar type of look by coming out in 236 Will, and I'm going to come out and cover two man. And I just want you to, I wanted you to note the contrast uh, between these two experiences. So I've been cover two man. As you can see, um, my linebacker that is on him, 
which should not be this guy, so let me move him out of the way. So again, this guy's going to be somewhere over here, just to illustrate. Um, let me throw him in the zone. Okay, so linebackers band up, and I just want you to watch this an animation. I'm going to get these guys out of the way, just get them out of the way zone-wise. I want you to watch when he comes from that alignment, watch what happens with this linebacker. You're going to notice that that linebacker is going to fall significantly behind the tight end, and now that high ball is wide open. Now, I want to contrast this. I'm going to show you the same exact thing, but we're going to do it from um, one four six with the linebacker mugged down in the gap, and you're going to notice a significant difference. So, again, I'm going to come out and DB sting two buzz, but then I'm going to audible two cover two man. Now you see here the linebacker's down in the gap. I'm going to man him up on the tight end. You see here we get great alignment. Everybody is in great alignment when we audible from zone. Okay, that's another little piece. Um, but I'm going to drop these safeties and purples just like I just did. The guy is going to be completely isolated. I'm going to get these guys out of the way. And what you're going to see here is you are going to see that this tight end is not going to get over the top of this guy. You see, he's much closer to him. Now, he did get a little bit over the top, but he's much more in stride with the tight end. If you have a knockout ability on that player, you're going to be fine, okay? Even if you don't have a knockout ability, I think you're still going to be fine. Um, the reality is you're probably going to have some type of safety support, something like this, for example. Um, but what I'm, what I'm getting at here is this allows you to play cover two man significantly better it, then you can play it in one four six or in, in a dollar. There you see even better. So you see there he's actually on top of him. And if again, if I just if I click on, I can make a play there. Like we're gonna be okay with that. Okay, trust me. So you're able to play cover two man better in one four six, and that allows you to actually build in to your defense this other blitz, which is this cover two man blitz. Where what we're gonna do is we're gonna blitz this guy, and then we're gonna slide him in and put him on a QB contain. And then you're going to use her this defender. Now, again, you can, if you want to man up the running back, you can, or you can just use her to defend him. But I want you to watch what happens. You're going to see here, we're going to get this really glitchy, glitchy disengage out of the 146 formation uh, with that contained logic. Now, another little piece, another little thing you can mess around with if you want to use her the safety is you can blitz this guy and just kind of slide him over here. And then you could do something like this. Now you're in a position where you've got a lot of of flexibility from a coverage perspective. Your user's down here to shoot the gap whichever way you want, and this linebacker will create that disengage uh, at the quarterback. So the pressure you can create for one four six is incredible. The other thing that I want to get at is, again, let's get to zone here for just a few minutes at the end of this. The adjustments, because these linebackers are down in the gap, they play significantly better. When you crash your line down, it's also going to fix these blitz angles to be significantly sharper um, than they would otherwise be. So you get sharper blitz angles from this look. And you'll see right here, if I wanted to, um, you know, man this guy up, because, again, he's down in the gap, he will play a lot better in man coverage. And then you're going to see here my pressure is just incredible from this formation, as you can see. Very consistent pressure from this formation. Very consistent pressure. Um, if they block a running back, I'll show you that. You'll see here that this will still come in. Again, I would want to press this just so my guys can get on the line of scrimmage. You'll see here's uh, – whoops, I'm sorry. I forgot to block the running back. You should see we're getting double-edge pressure. So if I block the running back, I'm going to be in a really good shape uh, to be able to get this pressure in. What I like to do uh, with my defense is go ahead and you know take that linebacker, and I can do whatever I want to do. One of my favorite adjustments is to actually put him into a middle third um, and then utilize my safeties in cross-man scenarios. You could even do something like this if you wanted to. I think this right here is a really, really underrated setup because you're going to stop the snap throw to the tight end with the clouds, and then you have something like this. You know, and then if you watch here, the running back will block. So now we're free to get out. And, and, and you see see right there on the right side, we don't even have to base a line to get this pressure to come in. That is a huge benefit to the defense because now we can do a lot from a coverage perspective. We can do a lot uh, from a coverage perspective within this play. You also have DB, uh, DB, Sting, which is, uh, DB Sting, which is the same basic thing. Now, if I audible to this from zone, you'll notice when I start cross-manning people, no, there's no tell 
uh, as to what we're doing defensively. So we can do anything we want with this. I think the alignment is significantly better from this. And again, if they block a running back, you're going to get pretty consistent edge pressure. That time we got bumped on that right side. Now you can still baseline, by the way. I, I don't want to say you can't. You can still baseline this, but the beauty is your linebackers will still be down in the gap. So if I want to base a line, you know, I could do something like this, and now we won't get bumped as much. Now you're seeing we're getting B-gap pressure. So you see how powerful this formation is. I could talk about this defense for a long time, um, but the beauty of this defense really is found in the fact that there is so much we could do. If you want to just run like this, where you walk this guy off and you contain him, this six-man blitz might be the best six-man blitz in the game. Um, if they block their running back here against something like this, you'll see a lot of times we're going to go right around the running back and get pressure. So there's so much we, we could talk about with this, but bottom line is this. 146 is really equipped to dominate because you don't have to base a line for this to be effective. You also have several different ways that you could user this to make it better in terms of how it's going to get pressure at the quarterback. Love this defense. If you want to learn it, get in the Patreon. We have the dollar stuff in there. We have the all the other stuff in there. But get in the Patreon. Check out 146 ebook. Thanks for watching the video. The Patreon is just 10 bucks. If you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.